Hello, Jaskot here. So, how do we get our Marvelous Designer designs, our clothing designs, into IMVU? Well, we have to go through a third-party app like Blender. So for this, what we first need to do is import an exported file from Marvelous Designer into Blender. So from the File menu, we just need to select Import OBJ. In the browser, we browse to and select the object file, the mesh that we're bringing in, and then we just import. It's likely going to be too big relative to the scale that the IMVU toolkit uses, so we have to rescale. So for that, we just need to make sure that we have the mesh selected. If we can't see it, just select it in the outliner. And then in Object Properties, we just change the X, Y, Z scale values. So we click Type, and in this example, we can type 0.01 for each axis and this will rescale the mesh to make it more compatible with the toolkit. Once we've done that we need to set up the materials. So the object will generally be exported from Marvelous with a material but if there are more than one material or section applied in Marvelous we need to add missing materials. And this will depend on how your mesh has been set up in Marvelous whether it's got a front, back and sleeves for example each one of those sections or segments may have or require a separate material. So we need to add a material, populate it, assign an image texture, and then assign an image to that image texture. That sets up the materials that then need to be assigned to the mesh, and we can do that using UV maps. So we're selecting UV islands, front, back, and sleeves. Selecting our material in the material list and then assigning those materials or the selected material to the highlighted section of the mesh. So we make our UV selection, select the material in the material list, and then click the assign button to assign that to the corresponding section of the mesh. So once the materials have been set up and assigned to the object, we need to tidy up the mesh. Now this depends on how the clothing item was constructed in Marvelous Designer. What we need to do is remove a lot of redundant vertices that may have been introduced into the structure of the mesh. This is essentially an optimization of the mesh and we can do this by using a dissolve in particular or collapsing them together using the various merge options. Typically, this is going to need to be done on all seams or joins between segments. But once we've done this, we may also then need to tidy up the UV maps. Because we've removed vertices, it will have broken the UV map apart where those vertices have been deleted. So we need to collapse the vertexes together and close those gaps. We can do this in the UV editor. Just select and then merge at center. Once all this initial prep has been done, the file can be saved. So we're saving the project locally in its own file. And then we can bring this in into a toolkit clothing project. So we want to start from a clean file. So file new general. Then we want to access the toolkit from the sidebar. So view sidebar. That accesses the toolkit, we click the tab, and then we expand the options for clothing. All we need to do is click on the Append Clothing Tool button, and that'll drop in an avatar. The male initially, so we can click the female if we're making female clothing, and then we can import or append the mesh that we tidied up into this project. So File, Append, this will open a browser, we browse to the location of our project that we've just saved. Double click, object folder, and then we'll find the mesh. Select and import or append. So once the mesh has been brought in, it won't initially articulate with the skeleton. So if we switch to pose mode and manipulate the skeleton, the mesh won't move with it. This means we have to set it up. And we do that by selecting the mesh and clicking the bind to armature button. This will link the mesh to the avatar skeleton, then allow it to articulate. 
In doing this, however, we may need to adjust some weight paint values. So that's adjusting the influence different bones of the skeleton have on the mesh. So we can do that by clicking the weight paint button. Here we can paint different values to the mesh to change the influence of specific bones. And we keep doing this until we are satisfied with the articulation of the mesh. Now, depending on how the design is made in Marvelous, this may not be enough. What we may have to do instead is remove sections of the avatar that are to be omitted or should be omitted in order to prevent the avatar's torso clipping through the design. And for this, we need to duplicate the avatar body part that's going to be used and exported with the clothing item, remove the sections of the mesh that are clipping through. We can then export the two together as a single unit to FBX by clicking the export button.